Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 62. Uh, gonna start things off with a Hespori kill. Last kill was a bucket. And this kills cactus seeds, which isn't particularly good, but um, I'm not gonna worry about doing Hespori too much anymore now that I do have the bucket. Um, for the rest of the episode, not too sure what I'm gonna be doing, but I um, hope you all enjoy um, whatever it is I do end up doing. Um, sit back, relax, and I will catch up with you all at the end of the episode. So in the interest of freeing up a bit of bank space I'm going to be using these um, Slayer Boss heads or Slayer Trophies on the Dark Altar for a bit of prayer XP. Um, because they're recorded in the collection log I don't really mind uh, doing that because there is a record of me having them. Um, I don't know if you can use this tattered head on there, you can't so I'm just going to drop that. Um, but that's alright, that's a little bit of prayer XP. Also used up the curved and long bones that I had in the bank for about 30k construction XP and freed up a bit of space which was nice. Oh nice, I didn't realise that was a unique. So that's three bank spaces that I can free up by putting these in my house and I'll just drop the duplicates over to my main. Um, back doing some easy clues, the uh, the treasure trail expansion that they pulled looks like it's passing and I'm not 100% sure but I think if they add a bunch of new cosmetic rewards it might make some of the older ones harder to get and I still do need the flare trousers so yeah nearly up to 600 easy clues done now um, and I too need those flare trousers for master clue steps so hoping I can get it before the update um, we shall see ooh master clue can we attempt the first step yeah hopefully we can do this well I'm not anticipating being able to get a bandos god sword anytime soon so probably just going to drop that one unfortunately um that's a shame i'd done well only three steps so wasn't that close to completing it all right what can we get from easy clue number 600 Ooh, not sure if i need that but um it's better than nothing coming in with 87 smithing i'm still looking to get 89 fairly soon i pretty much have all of the materials banked um, so I'm just smithing uh, mithril and adamant bars that I made at the blast furnace and I still need to make about 13,000 gold bars um, which won't take too long and then I will be able to make rune darts which will be very helpful for raids and other PVM. Ooh, master clue. Um, back to doing a few easies. Um, see if we can try and complete this one. Master clue complete. What can we get? Oh, that's another very distinctly average reward, 200k, um, but that is my 20th master complete now. Nice, just finished up another set, so the blue wizard robes trimmed can now go in the house, and I'll uh, get rid of those duplicates, so that's two bank spaces, I guess, that are going to be freed up. I don't really know what I'm going to do if I get the flare trousers, and I still have all of these sets um, left incomplete. Um, there's a lot of medium clue related ones as well that um, obviously haven't filled out the house with and um, now that I've got ranger boots I'm not going to be grinding mediums so yeah it would be nice to fill out some of the sets especially like the iron and steel gold and trim sets but um, don't really know how many extra easy clues I want to do if um, I get the flare trousers just to empty up some bank space we shall see. Oh, that is a tasty clue. Um, I'm not sure if I've got all of these. I have a feeling that actually might be um, the other piece I was missing to fill out the set, but we'll go and have a quick look. And it is indeed, so that's another bank space saved. Very nice. Oh, another master clue. Um, let's give that a go. Yep, can do the first step, so we'll see if we can complete it. Looks like my recording messed up, but the master clue wasn't anything special. 228k, so standard reward there. Ooh, master clue. Um, we will give that a go. All right, what can we get? Um, that's a pretty underwhelming master clue. 260k. All right, this is easy clue number 700. Oh my, that's bizarre. That is utterly bizarre to get that on just a random clip that I was recording. Um, 
fantastic um i was going to say actually with the update that's coming to uh, treasure trails they're adding a whole bunch of new rewards and um i wasn't entirely sure if that meant that getting any individual item was going to be more difficult um because obviously with a, a higher number of um rewards to roll on um maybe that meant that each individual item had a, a lower chance of um being you know rolled on each clue if that makes sense so i was hoping to bang out a bunch of easy clues before the update and to get the flare trousers on clue number 700 is pretty cool um i need to get i think a few more levels to be able to easily boost for the master stash units because i would like to stash this away yeah so i need a plus four boost at the minute if i got one more level um i could use the crystal saw um, and that would be easier than getting a stew um, but that is a big relief to finally get those and that's 91 fletching um, don't unlock anything there but nice level to get from the uh, smithing training still need to make all of the gold um, and do my rune knight uh, or rune darts as well just been a bit lazy with that but um, hopefully get those last two levels soon Alright, so with the Seed Vault update that just came into the game, there's an opportunity to free up some bank space. Um, I'm going to put all of these seeds into the Seed Vault, and I'm going to keep my herb seeds in the bank, um, just because I don't want to feel like I always have to start my herb runs at the Farming Guild. Um, but as I'm not really doing tree and fruit tree runs anymore other than for contracts, um, I can just keep these in the Seed Vault, um, and that will free up 26 bank spaces which is really nice I'm not actually struggling too much for bank space at the moment um, I've got like over 70 free but still that's pretty nice so I completely forgot that I had an elite clue um, sat in Watson for god knows how long um, so I went and turned it into a master clue and I'm on the eighth step and Sherlock has asked me to burn a redwood log um, I can get a redwood log quite easily um, by boosting up to 90 with a dragon axe spec but I don't have the fire making level to burn it um, so I'm gonna hit up winter Todd um, and just get those five levels I think that'll be a good thing to do um, and I don't think it would take too long and the first level coming in that is 86 and that is 87 as well three to go 88 there's 89 and we even managed to get a wood cutting level as well. There is 88. And there we go, that is 90 fire making. So I will finish up this uh, round at Winter Todd and go and hopefully finish the master clue. I'm pretty sure it's the last step. And uh, let's see what we can get. All right, well, that is the master clue complete. What can we get? Ooh, that's pretty good actually. Um, I don't think I've got the black demon mask and a couple of magic seeds is always good. Yeah nearly 600k worth of reward pretty happy with that and there is 88 smithing so one left to go until i can make rune darts should have probably got this level and uh 89 which i'll be getting soon weeks ago i've been slacking but um in the flow of things now with blast furnace so i think it's like an hour and a half to 89 so yeah that'll be the next clip hopefully and there we go, that is 89 smithing, so I can now make rune darts. Um, I've got just under 1400 uh, rune bars in the bank, so, well, just over 1300, so that's like 13k rune darts, which is pretty nice. I think at the moment I'm only going to be using them for raids just because I need to use them sparingly, at least until I start doing some more mining and uh, getting more runeite ores, but that should last me a, a very long time. Um, yeah, that'd be a nice little DPS boost. I've not been keeping up with uh, weekly tiers of Guthics, but I'm hoping this should get me a level. Um, and it did. 80 rune crafting, which is quite nice because that means I've now got base 80 stats. Um, yeah, rune crafting is pretty slow, but just slowly chipping away at it so that I can eventually do the uh, last two achievement diaries left on the account. Uh, so I think I need 82 for the Falador, and I, I can do that with a plus 5, and then 86 with a plus 5 for the Karamja Diary as well. 
And that is it for today's episode. Unfortunately, hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, picked up some nice levels and items in this episode, um, getting 90 fire making and uh, rounding off base 80 stats. And of course, the flare trousers, which are going to be very handy uh, for the master clue. That's actually the first time I put them on, they're pretty funky. Um, yeah, this video took a little bit of a longer wait to come out. Um, been pretty busy and just slacking off with uh, the game. Hoping to get one or two maybe out before the end of the month. Um, I've actually got a Greater Demon task, so Zami will be back on the cards for the next episode and hopefully pick up a hilt, maybe a Staff of the Dead. We shall see. Um, thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next episode.